Today we're in the Yorkshire Dales. In front of us we've got Ingleborough, one of the three peaks. That's where we're going. We're going to make our way to Ingleton now to start our walk. So we've made our way to the car park at Ingleton. It's £3.60 all day to park. Just behind us we've got the tourist information and toilets and that. So we're heading back down to the road at the bottom of the car park and turning left. So we're heading up the road now to pick up our path. At the top of the road we turn right, following the road, walking slightly uphill. At the T-junction just keep heading forward. We just keep walking forward a short way. At the end of the wall we turn right. We can see the signpost. So as we head uphill, signpost says Ingleborough, two and a half miles. So as we start to climb, that's looking to our left. So we're just steadily making our way uphill towards the wall, following the track. That's looking to our left again. We're just heading forward now, between the two walls. You're walking with a taxi driver today, in the Yorkshire Dales, in the sunshine. Today's the 24th of September. That's looking to our left again. We're still walking up the track. That's looking to our right, over the gate. It's an easy one to follow, is this one. As we're steadily making our way uphill, the landscape slowly changing. As you can see, and as we walk along, suddenly in front of us, there she is. We keep going through a gate. There's a couple of seats on our left hand side. And that's the view to our left. You've got the sheep mixed in with the stones there, look. And as we head forward a short way, there's the view. We've got a farm on our left hand side. We're heading forward now. We can see the path on the right hand side of the wall. That's looking to our left. That's looking to our right. We head forward as we make our way up to Ingleborough. That's the view. Looks pretty good. That's looking to our left. And again, as you can see, we're following quite a good path. We're still following the path, but as you can see, it's just getting a bit steeper now and a bit breezy as well. Well, we've just come over that ridge there. And there's the path in front. As we make our way up the path, that's looking back towards Ingleton. That's looking to our left. We've just leveled our touch now, so that's looking to our left again. Very breezy though. Just got this last bit to climb and there'll be a cup of tea, I think. That's just to the right hand side. Well, there's the top. And if we look to our left hand side, we've a shelter there, look. And in between the two, a big pile of stones. Well, I think it's time for a cup of tea now. Well, we've just stopped for a cup of tea at the shelter. In front of us, we've got Penny Ghent. We bear off slightly left where them people are. Just to our left hand side before we start dropping off, we've got Wernside. Just down below we've got Ribblehead Viaduct. As you head forward with Penny Ghent on your right, bearing slightly left, 
You'll see a big cairn. Just keep walking straight forward. We're more or less on the edge now. Very windy, that's looking to our left. We'll soon be dropping off to the left, into the valley below. Just walk a couple of hundred feet forward from the cairn and the path goes down on the edge. There's the view. We're walking down the front of the rocks now. As you can hear, it's pretty breezy. As you drop down, you'll see a sign. Horton to your right, Chapelly Dale to your left. We're turning left. Just keep walking downhill a short way till you come to the wall corner. We turn left there, downhill. As we make our way down, we can see the path down below and Wernside. And as we make our way down, that's looking to our left and that's looking to our right and that's just looking down. So we're down onto the paved path now, heading forward. As we make our way down to the wall and the gate, you can see the path. We're heading towards the scar now. So as we go through the gate, we turn right for a short way. And then left, you can see the path just to the right hand side of the trees. As you walk forward on your right hand side, there's like a massive hole in the ground. On the map it says cave, but I can't see a cave entrance from here. We're just at the side of the big hole on your right, heading forward towards the limestone pavement. We're still heading forward and again. That's looking to our right. And that's looking back towards Ingleborough. We're still heading forward along the track. Looks like we've got a couple of cattle here. They're only about, I don't know, 20 foot in front. We'll move over to that left hand side now and let them through. As we follow the track through the rocks, that's looking to our left, but we're turning right, heading towards the Roman road now. We're heading towards the gate at the end of the field, a couple hundred yards before the gate. The path drops off to our left hand side through the wall. As you make your way through the wall, that's the shot down below to our left. And that's where we're heading. And that's looking up the valley. We shall be walking at the other side of the river, following the Roman road back to Ingleton. So we just head forward. We then turn left, walking downhill. Past the house I showed you earlier. We're just at the side of the house now heading down towards the Roman road. At the main road, cross straight over, we're going into Chapel Lee Dale now. We head forward a short way, cross over the bridge towards the church, and then bear off left. So we're just following the road forward now. We head forward and go through a gate. This is the old Roman road. So as you walk along the Roman road, you've got a chance to take a good shot of Ingleborough there, look. Or the top half of it anyway. We're still on the Roman road, heading forward. That's looking to our right hand side. We just keep heading forward. We can see a barn in the distance on our left. So we head forward towards the barn. The footpath signs just on the right hand side of the gate. We go straight through. That's looking to our right, just over the Roman road. 
opposite the barn. We just keep following the wall and cross over the stile in front of us. We've got the river on our left. So we're going to cross over the stepping stones now. The river's pretty low, but if the river was in flood, if you just kept following the Roman road, that would bring you back to Ingleton. As you cross the river, you'll see white scar caves in front of you. We bear off right, heading forward, with the old wall on our left, slightly uphill. So we just keep following the path, slightly uphill, towards the top right hand corner of the field. Just where them cows are. We just keep heading forward, following the telegraph poles, past a big boulder. In front of here you'll see like a stone pillar. We're heading towards the trees and the track now. So we made our way to the last telegraph pole. We've turned left. We're going over the stile now. As we get to the quarry, we turn left. Up through the trees. We come out at the quarry entrance. We follow the footpath sign. And at the other side, there's a tiny gate. At the gate, we turn left. At the road, we cross over the stile at the other side. We're heading uphill now for a short way. We make our way to the top of the field, cross over the stile and then turn right. And then we follow the wall to the track and turn right. Where well, we're back on the track now. Another 10 minutes or so, we'll be back at our car. We hope you've enjoyed our walk in the Yorkshire Dales, Ingleborough. You've been walking the taxi driver today.